Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokegame here. Today we have a very, very fun team. It's very luck-based, but very, very fun. We are using Shell Smash, Sniper, Scope Lens, Barbarical. With the Scope Lens plus Stone Edge and Cross Chop, you have a 50% chance to crit your opponent. And if you crit Toxapex, Tangrowth, Buzzwool, or Slowbro, and because of your Sniper adding more damage to the crits, they actually all die. Physically defensive Tangrowth, physically defensive Slowbro, physically defensive Toxapex, and physically defensive Buzzroll all die to Barbarical at plus two. It's insane. And of course, just for good measure, and I've had a lot of fun with this Pokemon. We have Belly Drum, Drain Punch, Poison Jab, Zen Headbutt, Quick Claw, Quick Draw, Galarian Slowbro. I believe that's a 44% chance to move first, so almost 50% of the time you'll be moving first. Now, if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. Also, leave a comment about the most insane hacks you've ever had. Or luck, for those that don't know what hacks means. It's basically luck in Pokemon, right? Like a Thunder Wave Paralysis or a Critical Hit or a Freeze. Uh, what is the most insane hacks that you've ever had or experienced in uh, Pokemon Showdown? Let me know down below. And if you are new to the channel, check right now if you're not already subscribed. Subscribe. I upload competitive Pokemon content all the time. And I'm on my way to 300k. That's my end of the year goal. It should be a lot of fun. This team's going to be on my website. Big shout out to Toga. My website's down below if you guys want to check it out. I'll pause it until we find a battle, guys. We're really high up on the ladder. We'll be right back. Game. And also, for those that don't know, I do have my Drop a Draco Shaker down below. You guys have been crazy uh, picking it up. I believe 35%, almost close to 40% of the inventory is almost gone. If you guys want to support me, feel free to pick it up. Um, again, for those that just, we all drink water, right? I, raise your hand if you drink water. I assume we all do. Uh, but... If you do want something, feel free to pick it up. Even if you don't like G Fuel, uh, G Fuel is a caffeinated energy drink. Um, 18 plus if you do buy the caffeinated version of it. Obviously, you can use Code Aim. Uh, the hydration line, though, has zero caffeine, zero calories, zero sugar. So that could be whatever age. But you no, know, 18 plus if you buy caffeine. But none of that matters if you just want to pick up a shaker. Uh, with my code, you can get it for like seven, eight bucks. So anyway, provided my buddy crits everything, I think it just wins. So I want to get up rocks to uh, break the sturdy on Skarmory, unless it's heavy-duty boots, that way it can't whirl into me or do anything. There we go. And, uh, honestly, yeah, I'll just explode. I think explosion is completely fine. I bring out you now. I'm gonna Encore it into Earthquake, that way it can't heal. And now we're gonna go for Veil. Because if they go out to Tornadus and... Defog, I feel like I can use this thing to just crush them. No, my 50% chance! Come on, man. It's fine. I can still use it to crush. It's fine. It's still super good. That's in They're insane for doing that with Tornadus. But as long as I break this thing starting, I'm pretty sure Poltergeist just wins. So. 26%, man. We're going to go Nine Tails here. Damn, man. They're crazy for doing that with Tornadus. But you know what? It worked out. Going to freeze dry first. I, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't want to say it. But I knew it was going to happen. I, I, I did. I Because basically at that point, they were always forced to recover. So it made sense to go for something like this. I believe safeguard is the play. And then I go for Encore. Bring out Slowbro, which straight up wins. Well, they can taunt me. Hmm. We'll go you. Encore them into Hurricane. Aurora Veil up if they miss again, that is. Then we Encore Coco. And I think that's game. I, I'm pretty sure I just won right now. Can I just Shell Smash up and win? Provided they don't paralyze me right now. I got the Curse Body on them. So they can't even touch me. Go for Stored Power because it's stronger ver than any other attack I can go for. Besides Shadow Ball versus Skarm. And then we win. So that's that's game. Everything dies. No. No, sir, you die. <laughs> Get out of my sight. No. <laughs> no. Awesome. So, first win pretty quickly in the 1800s. Pretty high up on the ladder. Um, didn't really get to do the stuff of Barbarical, but we're going to try it, man. We're going to try it. I promise. We're going to absolutely try it. So, I'm going to pause it. We'll find another battle. Oh, my boys want to play Fortnite. We'll be right back. The game where if Barbarical crits Feral Thorn with Cross Chop, I win the game immediately. Literally. Alright, we're gonna start off with Mew because it's incredible versus their team. They have one Pokemon faster guaranteed. The rest 
are usually always slower. Zapdos can sometimes be max speed if it wants to be. But if they lead off with Weavile, I can get a close combat off because I do have a Cobra Berry. I can knock them out and that'll help out Poltergeist, obviously. Uh, that'll also help out my slow bro with his quick draw, quick claw stuff because really you can set that up for free in front of Clefable. There's so many ways to win this game. Como just straight up wins too. Uh, and then, again, if I can... You also want the Tyra Beyond? That's great. Now make a move. I can do a lot. So we're going to taunt them just in case they trick any of that sticky bar of crap. They moonblast me. That's fine. We're going to get up some stealth rock as Weavile comes out. And they don't expect the Cobra Berry. Don't die. There we go. So we've punched the dark type in the face. Opening up the door for Poltergeist to just straight up win. And now Clefable comes out. I'm going to taunt you. Hmm. Do I do it now? What's your last move? Boom. We get up that veil. And then I think we look really good here. Like I said, we look we look super good. CC just for Weavile? Yeah. It helps out the ghost. Because that mon's on every damn team. I don't want to say look at it and look at your team now, but I think they understand. I'm glad they just accepted it. Nice. So... Again, uh, this is pretty pretty free here. We just safeguard up now. That way they can't Thunder Wave or do anything. And I think I just Belly Drum up with my homie. Or Shell Smash up with Barbarical, depending on what they do. They get up Spikes. We're going to Encore them into that. I'm going to go Barb now, because it can live every hit from everybody. And it's also faster than Volcano, unless it's Timid. Hmm. I don't know if I die. I don't know if I die. Let me just liquidate them. Let me just be safe here and, and weaken the only Como, the real Como answer on their team. You know what? I'm gonna feel, I feel like I don't die. I feel like I don't die. <laughs> I really do. Cause I'm gonna assume this is defensive landers. Earthquake, Let, let's, let's get up a veil. <laughs> Where's my Aurora veil? Uh, reflect light screen, all that stuff. Where is that? Whatever, right there, earthquake. And then a minus one defense. 69 to 81. Damn, I'm, I'm in range. What's your set? Want to tell me? It's just Shell Smash. <laughs> this is, this is, what do you want from me? Coverage moves. You know what? Fight, rock, water. There you go, buddy. You're my best friend now. <laughs> Yo, oh, I thought they left immediately when I said that. Anyway, my players just, uh, I think, weaken this. Because that's going to help out slow, bro. Do I shell smash here? The roll is in my favor. Honestly, the roll is in my favor. Let's go for it. Because if they switch out to Feral Thorn here, I can loot. I can... Like, being able to kill them would be great. Oh, they're faster. This is actually... That's actually best case scenario for me, I feel. Okay, so, Stone Edge will kill because they're faster than me, so they're defensive, and I don't want to, I don't want to hit, like, Feral Thorn if I don't have to, basically. Come on, buddy. Alright. Every bit of chip would have mattered. Whatever, man. Crit. Right now. Just do it. Just do it for me. Do it with your sniper. Yes, sniper, bro. I got it lined up. Oh, yeah, uh, speaking of Fortnite, I've actually been playing with Moet Gator and our buddies Tiger. Um, because of no build. It's been sick. There's the crit. There's the crit. Oh, I told you. It just straight up wins. It just straight up wins when it crits. Let's go for this one, too. No! It's scope lens. Oh, 50%. <laughs> Might as well tell my entire team, bro. That's so funny. Alright, so let him knock me out here. And then go Como and win, right? Just T-Wave. Do you want the importable? <laughs> I can give it after. Yes. It's for... 
burns and after stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to tell this person. <laughs> you do things after too that can win. I think I just shell smash and, and I think I win. Volcanion! <laughs> Am I wrong? Anyway, we store power. Are you burnt poltergeist? I also have a Como and a slow bro. I, I thought you were a nice person. But <laughs> uh Como Hello? It's gonna wear off anyway. Yes, but if you had steam <laughs> initially, I would have went coma. Hey man, it looks like I'm almost winning. So who knows? Bro, I don't know. I, this ain't. I ain't here for this. Ain't like a, a a freaking dating app, bro. This ain't 25 questions. What's going on? You know, I'll keep this at the end. I'll keep this at the end. I wonder how much this does to. Uh, Tickle Fable, just to know. Walter guys, plus two, plus two, plus two. Clef Able. I hope they go Clef Able. Damn, it is a lot. And they go for like a, a Thunder Wave, and then I have my safeguard. <laughs> so they, there's actually nothing Clef Able can go for that can knock me out here. I'm good. Yep. I get a little drop drop. A little annoying. Go for a Shadow Ball here. There was no reason to, but Shadow Ball and the Star Power kills everything anyway. Clef dies, and I think Zapdos dies. I think. Zapdos definitely doesn't die. Well, if it's offensive, it does. Time to Strum Sap. And pray. Is our hero gonna lose? I'm our hero, by the way. Actually, no. Shadow Ball is stronger now. That's 120. Why didn't I go for Shadow Ball? I can get a spin up drop. Alright, disabled. Nice. Let's freaking go. No, I can't belly drill up! No! How fast is Landers? Alright, a little bit of chip, a little bit of chip. Let's go! For real, bro. For real, for real. Get another one. Let's go. Bro, you got to drop. It's the only reason why you're even winning this game. I think I scale shot. I think they're faster than me. Exactly. Yeah. Come on. Let's go, baby. Two time. You piece of crap. Imagine if I didn't get French. Imagine if you didn't get the special attack drop. I won. Woo! <laughs> Doesn't matter, dude. Yes? I won right here. Yes. <laughs> a one, a two, a three. Good game! Well played. Let me drop let me drop the GU well played. Maybe. I, I, I will. <laughs> you know, I thought they were really wholesome at first, and then they just... <laughs> they were not. I'll pause it, guys. We'll be right back. We got a, another one. Very tough matchup. Very tough matchup. CTC's telling me his team as we speak. Was that his ground toxic? Thank you. He said Victini is some sort of item. Thank you, brother. All right, I'm going to get up rocks here. And this is going to be a tough game because I'm very weak to... Scizor and Kingdra. I mean, I do have luck on my side, but they have Mudsdale as well. But CTC is now unfortunately on the account, which means I could get banned at any given moment. This is not what we like to see. Yeah, this is this is a rough matchup here. I'm very SD Scizor weak, and that's definitely SD Scizor. Uh, last time we played, it was SD Life Orb. Yeah, I thought Scizor was SD Life Orb. Um, yeah, because of Rex. He just linked it. Specs King. Orb Helio. 
Thank you. Boots. Teeny. Thank you, baby. All right, that's all I want to see. Thank you. All right, so we get a Brox here. And then, uh... It's tough. Because I have Belly Drum Como, which is really strong. Then it lets them go Kingdra after. I think I can win this game, provided I don't lose Mew turn one for nothing. Which I don't think is going to happen. All right, they're, they're, now they're just listing stuff. Like, I know Kingdra has a water move and Dragon move. I just told you I'm recording. No, I'm recording. No, no, I'm literally recording. I'm recording alone. I do this sometimes. No. I'm courting alone. <laughs> Give me a bit. <laughs> I don't want you to say hi to the people, CDC. Go away. I do so many videos with you. Finish the Vaporeon teams. There you go. My bad. My bad. I know we're just having a conversation. Dude. Don't click. Don't click for me, bro. Hopefully they pick a move eventually. I don't want, like, my free, uh... I don't mind free points, but I'm trying to show off Barb. I'm, I have a really fun replay, by the way, for the last, like, at the end of the video to show. It's really, 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 really sick. It's crazy. Uh, it looks like just like the last time when I played RGGGV with Blunder, he just completely times out, which is absolutely sucky. All right, I guess I'll just pause it until we find another one, guys. I'll be right back. Got another game. Now, they look like they six sold by Shell Smash, so I'm going to try and uh, mess them up. I'm going to straight up try and mess them up. But, uh, yeah, let's see. This is free Stealth Rock here. Hopefully, they're not faster than me. I would love for them to be Life Orb or Specs. Scarf would be okay. I feel like this is Scarf, actually, because they have no speed control. They're 1909 on the ladder. Damn, I'm getting higher up. I am 1882 right now, though. We'll see what happens. But yeah, rocks up first. You know, if this was a mute, like a nasty plot mute, like just that na that standard nasty plot set, this would look super strong here. That did absolutely nothing. I'm gonna CC them for a little bit of chip. All right, that's probably the most chip I can ever. I got the whole bag of lays right there on the floor. Gonna boom in front of this dude too. Oh my god, I got so much out of that. I got so much out of that dude. I don't care if they heal or whatever. I basically just click Aurora Veil for free and I think I win. Just go for Safeguard. That way they can't Thunder Wave as they go for Leech Seed. Gonna Encore them into that. And then get in Barb and, Barb, excuse me, and just Shell Smash. And I think kill everything. Hmm. Barbarical, Clefable, plus two. Stone Edge on a crit kills, Liquidation never kills, but on a crit it does, but it has a lower chance of critting. And Moonblast does nothing, dude. Damn, at minus one? It really does nothing? Damn, let's go for it. Okay, mister. Okay, mister Ferrothorn, I see you. You're going to get hit by this cross chop, though. Doesn't matter if they double as long as I crit. All right, get with the Stone Edge right now. I've had enough. That's it. That's all I have to do. All I have to do is crit right there. I think I win the game with my shell smash mom. Now I think that's yeah. I think that's shell smash time. Shell smash time. My dragon's gone. Ferrothorn's weakened. The fable's rocky helmet, so I shouldn't be able to touch me. Can you stop calling here? Holy crap! They're so annoying. Thunder Wave doesn't matter as long as I shall smash up again. Let's freaking go. Alright. Going to uh, actually try and strength sap here. That way the knockoff can't kill me. Ah, oh, that sucks. And we get full paralyzed there, so I can't do crap. Come on, man. Alright, I disabled that, which means I can belly drum now. Let's go. Do they expect a skill shot is the question. Nope. Don't get two. There you go. All right, I win anyway. <laughs> Let's go, GG. <laughs> ah.
Man, CTC was talking crap into a win. Easy win. You were saying? Yeah. 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 Look at him just watching on the side as I'm winning this game. Easily into 1900s, we go. 1904. Not even bad. We are just straight up climbing, bro. Bro, Barb is, is, is making me a little sad, though, because my dude is not getting any kills. <laughs> because he's not critting the Scopelands. It's 50%. I mean, we got the one on that one guy, but it's 50%. Anyway, guys, I'm going to pause it. We'll be right back. Games are taking forever to get. They're insane. But we got a new lead. Uh, sometimes it could be Scarfini. I'm going to taunt anyway just to be safe. Then get up rocks and then boom. I think that's relatively safe for their entire team anyway. If it is Scarfine, it's fine. I get a veil. That's actually why would you lead this into Why would you lead this into Nine Tails, actually? Let me just get up rocks. It is Scarf. That's fine. Scarf into defog. I get in Nine Tails anyway. I'm gonna get up Aurora Veil. I say trick. Then I'm gonna encore them. Doesn't matter if Mag comes out, I think I just end up bringing out my uh, Mew anyway. As we Toxic. Then I'm gonna get up Rocks. And then I think I just Shell Smash up with Poltergeist here. I don't see how they stop that. Yeah, because that forces in Halucha. Which I mean, I'm bad versus anyway, right? Bro, I swear these guys always get the drop. I didn't get the, you didn't get the drop this time though, which is good. So, we get that kill there. So this is going to force Cart to maybe come out. Oh, Lando. I'm going to Shrimp Staff first. That way I can eat their hit. Did 84. My god. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Should have went for Shadow Ball there. Because I keep I keep forgetting that uh, after I take a little bit of damage, Shadow Ball is better. But we get a kill there, which is beautiful. Bring out Mew. Explode immediately. Immediately. Get in nine tails on Halucha. Ooh, ooh, this might be bad. Um, I'm gonna veil anyway, see if I can get it. All right, this is gonna be close. It's gonna come down to slow, bro. It's gonna come down to slow, bro. Things. Can I get my citrus here? And then I get this, which is nice. Yeah, it's literally gonna come down if slow, bro, does it. I think I always scale shot here. They're gonna be forced to kill me. I'm gonna go barb on this. I think I just sacked this actually. Go you. I poison jab, which I wouldn't expect. I wasn't expecting to go first, by the way, but I poison jab there. I'm literally playing it like I'm not going to go first, but I think, I mean, provided I keep going first, I think I win anyway, right? Especially because this thing is Rocky Helmet. Oh my god, yeah, I definitely win now. Hell yeah, this guy's way too strong. Get one more. I think I win? Yeah, 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 they don't, they don't, I, I don't think Cart kills me. Cart doesn't kill me. I think they should have body pressed, like, once. Card does 44? Card at plus 1 did 67. Oh, 44 times 1.5. I think they kill me. Yeah! Let's go, baby! Undefeated, baby! That's what I like to see. Let's go. Just barely. Hey, 1916. Good game. Not even bad. So the damage on this didn't matter. I should have belly drummed, I think, in front of Magnazone. And then just bet off my... Uh, I think I should have belly drummed in front of Magnazone and just bet off that happening. But damn, man. The natural bulk was kind of nice. Everybody... I keep forgetting the Shadow Ball, by the way, when it's one when I get the drop. I keep forgetting the Shadow Ball. Because when it's 120, it's the same. Shadow Ball's better because Shadow Ball gets stabbed. When it's regular, it's stronger, like, after that. But that's always my... It didn't seem to matter here at all. Because they clicked Toxic for, instead of Earthquake in my entire team. Didn't really get to do a lot of, bar of Barb this video. But I think Slowbro did really good. Poltergeist did really... Barb did okay. Uh, Como did amazing. The whole team really just carried. Uh, but let me show you a fun little replay while I was testing the team. Uh, this is like I think the first game I play with the team first or second. So I'm fighting lemon T cold pretty scary matchup um, They have tornadoes which defogs on everything and this was again me learning the team as well So I mean I was kind of learning the team while we were playing but 
Um, they have Grassy Glide priority and Ice Shard priority. Obviously, it's fast dark type, which can be everything depending on luck. Uh, Grassy Glide's really good versus most of my members too. As usual, I just start off with Mew, right? So Mew versus E-Tran. I'm going to taunt them. Magma Storm does not matter at all. Magma Storm literally does not matter at all. Uh, we get up rocks. Just the pressure. If it's Bandit. I want to see if that's Bandit Weavile or Heavy Duty Boots, right? So that's what mainly rocks does. And this allows me to go Nine Tails. It might seem stupid going Nine Tails, but Free Veil. My opponent understands that completely and goes out to Tornadus. I'm pretty positive they're going to go for Defog here. So I go for Encore. Um, because if you want to stay in, that's fine. This guy not having Hypnosis was interesting. Um, like this was one of the games I was debating it, but we get a Veil again, and what I can do here is I can switch out um, into one of my Mons, but I didn't want them toxicing into Como or something, so I went for Safeguard. Again, if I had Hypnosis, I would go for it, but we go Como on now as they go for, I believe, Taunt, which is super, super frustrating. <laughs> super frustrating for sure. Uh, I end up doubling out to Barbarico because I expect them to go out to Torn, and basically I'm thinking this can give me a Shell Smash. Uh, I shouldn't. I didn't expect him to go hard into Rillaboom, but honestly, it made the most sense. I probably should have just uh, Stone Edge. So again, me just learn. This is me learning the team at this point. So obviously, the Grassy Glide here. I was like, yeah, maybe they throw. I mean, this can get in my Como, and I can go for a Belly Drum if I really want to. So I go Como. I go for Belly Drum. <laughs> my opponent goes hard to Weavile. Uh, so not looking the best for me right now. They got six Pokemon. I'm about to be down to. I'm about to be down to three. I am literally about to be down to three so i'm gonna bring my nine tails because i resist that it did a lot so i'm assuming it's banded it did, it did that through veil so i'm assuming that's banded so got the aurora veil here and um as they go heatran i'm just gonna go right for the safeguard and what i'm gonna do is go out to poltergeist what they should have done was taunt again uh, they didn't. They ended up going for Hurt Power. I think that was a misplay. I think Taunt again was always the best. Play. If you're going to predict me to go Slowbro, either Taunt again or like, or just go Weavile that turn, right? Because Weavile is relatively free, I felt. But I get a Shell Smash up as they go for Taunt now. At this point, it's a little bit too late because I'm already boosted and they can't knock me out with anything. I guess they could potentially hit something if they want to try to, but, you know, potentially. I mean, this is Magma Storm at the end of the day. So you see me, I dodge one, hit with the Shadow Ball after, dodge two. So I get rid of Heatran, which is awesome because that's their taunter. I mean, it's not looking the greatest yet, but there is one thing. Um, they didn't end up going Weavile here. They didn't end up going Weavile. They ended up going Rillaboom because it kills me through. I think that was a little bit of a mistake, especially because Poltergeist, Cursed Body activates. So this is the absolute freest belly drum of my life. Now they go hard Weavile. Now my opponent respects quick draw, quick claw. They know that sometimes basically 50% almost, that I won't be able to go first. So they're thinking, okay, I'll Ice Shard to avoid the Quick Draw, Quick Law, because that's priority. So even though I'm getting plus one, they already have priority, so they're faster. And then they can Grassy Glide after. Unfortunately for them, I have Drain Punch. So I get that recovery back, and I'm out of Drain Punch range, or of uh, Grassy Glide range. They bring out Garchomp. I, I, I motivationally speak to my slow bro. I say, listen, bro, you're Zen. You're ready. I get the Quick Draw, Quick Claw prop right there. Knock it out with Zen Head, but I'm like, yo, slow bro, let's just, let's just take this entire game. So I get it again versus Zero Aura. I Drain Punch to knock it out, and now they can't even knock me out with Knock Off from uh, their Rillaboom, I believe, and I can knock it out after, and then their Tornadoes probably can't win after that. So that was like the first test game I did with the team, and after that game, I was like, yeah, yeah, this team, this team is kind of nasty because obviously you have a, a lot of luck going for you uh, involved with it, right? Like, we only crit like one Feral Thorn on that one dude, but um, I like how it opens up. Like, I believe when Togo was testing it, this Mew had spikes over close combat, but close combat's nice because I was able to kill Weavile in that one game you saw, opening up Poltergeist. Uh, we have this. I don't know how much I like Safeguard, but there's a lot of Thunder Wave. I kind of like Hypnosis more when I play Nine Tails, but it's kind of growing on me. This Mon, really, really cool if you actually do end up getting the 50%. I mean, it's a 50% chance, right? But when you actually do end up pulling off those crits, man, this Mon is absolutely nasty. This Mon is absolutely nasty. And um, obviously, you saw how good this Como could be as well. And then you saw how good this could be potentially too. I'm not sure how much I like the Shrimp Sap too, too much. It, 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 it did come to play a couple of times. And then, I mean, you guys know how disgusting this Mon is, so... We're ending this at, uh, let me refresh the page. Where are we on the ladder? I believe we're ending it as number 36 on the ladder. Not bad. Undefeated in today's live um, while recording, right? So not even bad. Top 36 or top 40 on the ladder. I think that's sick. I think that's absolutely sick. But yeah.
uh, the game, the team is lucky. You guys can say, oh man, you're so lucky. Yes, that's the whole point of the team. It's to maximize luck. But hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And like I said, if you guys want to pick up my Draco Shaker uh, and, you know, when these are gone, they're basically gone, right? I've, you guys knew how, it took me two years to get this up, right? You know how long G Field takes with these sort of things. So if you guys want to pick it up, feel free to. My link is down below. Sub, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.